She listens on KKLA. Hi, Tasha. Tasha, are you there? Maybe Tasha has found a new life without us. <laughs> Call back, Tasha. Let's go to Ashley from Los Angeles, KKLA. Hello? Ashley? Hi, Ashley. Hello. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate it. Sure. How can we help you? I have a question about how to deal with the in-laws. Um, my husband and I, when we first got married, we moved in with his parents because they're ill, and in particular, his father is uh, disabled. And from the very beginning, um, my mother-in-law started attacking me by constantly saying that I stole her son away from her. He loves me more than her. We don't spend enough time with them. We don't do enough. And it's just been a um, very difficult journey for me yeah. well, to you go know, through that kind of abuse. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley, you know what? Uh, your mother-in-law is right. You did steal her <laughs> son away from her just like you're supposed to. She's supposed, he's supposed to leave and cleave. And uh, this whole issue of he loves you more than her, those are different loves. Different loves. And I agree with you. And we, okay. and I particularly, have been trying to explain it to her. Well, but I, I'm sure that helped. <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> listen, does she? No, she doesn't. No. Okay, what's the question for us then? So we no longer live together. We moved out in August, and um, there was a very difficult time while we were moving, moving away from them. And um, there was a lot of, a lot of dirt, a lot of uh, abusive words, a lot of cursing, and a lot of things were going on. And at least, uh, all these years, plus this several months before we left, um, all that left a very deep scar in my heart. Yeah. And um, now we keep going and visiting them, really very close by to them. And um, she's treating me badly. And um, although I have never fought with her, um, never said anything offensive, always kept silent and tried to keep peace as much as I could. But mm -hmm. it's getting to me. It's just very painful. And I don't think what I did to deserve this kind of treatment. Yeah, you know, I don't you know, know how uh, to deal with her. Who who is the new Duchess that just got married Excuse in me? England? What what is oh, her, Elizabeth? Is that her name or the Duchess that married the the Prince Prince Charles' oh, son? What is his Kathleen, name? Catherine. 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 Yeah. If your husband had married her, it would be the same thing. <laughs> Same you, thing. No different whatsoever. I'm just trying to think of some, some person that everybody thinks is just wonderful. The most wonderful person you can think of, if, if your husband had married her, the mother-in-law that you have would have had the same reaction. This is not about you. I, I tried to tell it to myself, and uh, one time what really made things worse is that... One time I had to go and get the gun from her hands because I didn't know what she's going to do with it. Did you think Wait, she honey, was going to shoot you? She had a gun? I didn't know what she was going to do, but oh I had a new baby and oh my, my baby was very little. And we said that we're going to just leave. And she ran into our room and she knew where we had a gun. And she just got the gun into her hands and my baby was in the room. We just ran and we got the gun from her hands yes. and we went outside. You did the right from thing. The home, and from the moment I told my husband, please, I cannot live here anymore. I just cannot And, and your husband anymore. moved you out. Your husband moved the two of you out then. Yes. Well, you know, you know Ashley, this... About six Ashley, months after that. Okay, Ashley, Ashley, you need to listen to us here. You know, there's another big, big issue here. Because your mother-in-law is not as uncommon as you would think. There's lots of mother-in-laws out there who are angry with young women who steal their sons away from them. And that's because they, they don't know how to launch their child. They are so enmeshed with their parenting, they don't know how to ever let go of their adult children. And so this is a, a real problem 
and your mother-in-law is not a healthy lady. But the, the concern, the biggest concern I have is where is your husband in all of this, you see? Uh, if, if it were up to, is he doing anything or is he leaving you to be the sole defender? Well, no, he's trying to defend me, and he was always, um, he's always been very respectful and very helpful, and basically he took care of them. He's the youngest of the all, okay. all the kids, and but he basically took care of them. Okay, so but here's... he tries to... I'm sorry. No, no, just listen to this, Ashley, because I know we're kind of running out of time, and I just want to finish this one thought. He does a lot for his parents but they're going to have to realize they may lose him entirely and he has to be willing to make a choice i'm going to pick my family over a parent who is so dominating and angry and abusive to my family and it may come to that that we may not be able to be supportive but your husband is going to have to make that decision and you know he needs to step up to the plate here it's unsafe, Ashley, for you to bring your children around your mother-in-law yeah, if she's, she's pulling a she's gun not on a you. Healthy okay? Lady. That's unsafe. Don't go there. Right. Don't go no, there. No, I wouldn't. I would never go we there. We give you permission, I, okay? It's not safe. Yeah. You did the right thing. You need to protect your family and yourself. First time I've ever heard of a mother-in-law pulling a gun. We'll be back right after this. I just absolutely believe in the mission of new life, and I feel that the materials provided and the biblical counseling perspective is so valuable and not available in so many places, and New Life and Membership and Club New Life provides access to the live program and also CDs available to listen to. So I know it's easy to turn on the radio and receive the benefit, but those services don't come without expense. And I would sure like to see the program remain on. So I would like to challenge listeners who listen and receive benefit but haven't yet given to actually give this year and continue the giving, of course, because more people need to hear. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE and ask how you can start your Club New Life membership today. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Hi everybody, Max Locato here. As a pastor, I've seen how important it is for people to come and get good Christian counsel. People make decisions that turn out to be the wrong decision. I heard Steve Arterburn say on New Life not too long ago that the same thinking that got you into your mess isn't going to get you out of it. If you find yourself in a spot and you don't know what the next right thing to do is, then won't you call the good people at New Life? They have a network of Christian counselors around the country that's more than 850 strong. Call today, 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433. And tell them you need to find someone to help you. They're likely to have a counselor in your area to help you with whatever you're struggling with. It will be good, godly counsel. Call today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE, 639-5433. We're glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now, back to the program. She's so physical, Tina Turner is, yeah. that uh, she stayed in shape. Yeah. I know we're talking about that horrible rock music stuff. Well, well and but, coming but, off the heels of, you know, talking about Ashley and her mother-in-law, I mean, <clears throat> Mylon, you had a good point. I mean, there's toxic relationship, scary stuff happening under that home. And being that her son is the youngest mm -hmm. boy, he probably feels some obligation to take care of disabled dad and mom. Right. But mom, you were saying, Mylon, maybe borderline. I mean, well, people that have this extreme of a reactive response are typically something that's a serious diagnosis. Yeah. And uh, I've seen people like this over the years. They act out in extreme ways, and they are very. They, they become, you know, fanatical, and and they become easily agitated, and then they have no ability to regulate themselves. And when they're in that that explosive state, they'll do anything. I've hey. seen and heard of all kinds of bizarre things at that moment. The only thing you can do for them is separate. 
and then you can call the police and create yeah. begin to create a paper trail. You can get restraining orders, and there's and and maybe part of the question: How do we get Dad out of there? Yeah, we were talking about him during the break. I mean, you know, sometimes the older kids, who knows what they've done, they may have gone away, but someone, the younger son may feel like, oh my gosh, dad's in there with yeah. this woman, and how scary. Here's yeah. why I think she was borderline, is because she said, I didn't know what she was going to do with the gun. In other words, she didn't know if she's going to kill herself, kill the baby, kill her. And that's just so typical of a borderline. You don't know if they're coming after you or they're going to off or, or attempt to kill themselves or look like they're going to kill themselves to get attention and whatever. It's horrible. Yeah. It really is. 